What's up, Nerd Journey Nation? Superhero nerd Aaron Waller here. And as the holidays get fully underway, I wanted to talk about the brand new Marvel Studios special presentation, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, and whether it's worth watching or not. The Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special focuses on Drax and Mantis as they attempt to bring Christmas joy back to Peter Quill by uniting him with his hero, Kevin Bacon. Now, I've never really been a big fan of holiday specials for most things. If it was a part of the original story like Home Alone or even Die Hard, then I'm cool with it. But 9 times out of 10 when a property tries to integrate a holiday, it feels totally unnecessary and tends to have a certain level of cheapness to it. They try so hard to shove a value or even a lesson into the story that the fun of the holiday often gets lost, and the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special felt no different. They tried to do the same tried and true cheese fest of Christmas and put it into a setting where it neither fit nor was justified other than the stakes of doing a holiday special. I mean, the Guardians haven't even been a major part of anything since Infinity War. This just felt like it was shorthanded and just having a holiday related Marvel property and the Guardians just so happen to be a dysfunctional family, which is a pretty standard part of a holiday special formula. That being said, however, this 45 minute special presentation did have a few chuckles in large part thanks to Drax and Mantis, who are not the brightest of bulbs. And it's undeniable that their chemistry has always been one of the more interesting and funnier aspects since Guardians 2 back in 2017. There was also some odd choices with Groot's current state of evolution almost feeling like it was a Halloween costume, there was almost no Rocket or Nebula though when they did appear it was kind of fun, and then there was Kraglin who was more serving as the one responsible to explain a more complex emotion or reason behind something to an audience who may not be quite getting the message. But one of the best things about this special and why it had some semblance of good scattered throughout was in large part thanks to James Gunn's involvement as he returns to write and direct. He even somehow got Disney to agree to a bar scene with characters taking quite a few shots and getting pretty drunk, something I would never expect Disney to allow. How this special will affect or even play out in the future of the MCU and Guardians 3 remains to be seen, but for the most part, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special just wasn't for me, but it did have a few sparks here and there that made it enjoyable, and for that reason I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It serves the purpose of being a Marvel property during a holiday, but otherwise it's instantly forgettable and will not be part of my yearly list of holiday movies to revisit anytime soon. So those are my thoughts on the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special and now I want to hear from you in the Nerdgenic community. What did you think about this holiday special? Did you like it or did you think it was yet just another unnecessary Marvel feature? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And also be sure to give us a follow across all social media platforms at Nerdgenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nerdgenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out one of my latest videos right over here. Or if you want to change the pace, check out one of Russ's video game videos right over here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it, and we hope to see you in the next video.